So because I have so many guys that follow the channel that are getting ready for things like Special Forces Assessment Selection, RASP, a bunch of other different things, I wanted to make a video on uh, the things we don't really talk about very often, which is the, the negative sides of life in Special Forces and Special Operations or the dark underbelly of um, you know what reality really is, um, especially as you're making your way through the beginning stages of it. Um, so just jump right in. Um, so right out the gate, if you decide to make the um, choice to go to selection or, um, you know, you make it that far, the reality of the situation is you should be prepared to basically give up every relationship you have in your life, your marriage, uh, your kids, your friends, your family. Um, now that doesn't necessarily mean they are going to disappear, but most likely they're all going to be fractured and damaged. Um, if you're married, you're more than likely going to get divorced. I mean, statistically, incredibly likely that you're going to get divorced, especially in the qualification course. Um, uh, you're barely going to ever see your kids if you have your kids for multiple years. Um, you're not going to see your friends. Your only friends are going to be the guys in the, in the course, your family. I think I saw my family like a week each year for like the first three years um, that I was in and going through the course and getting to a team and whatnot. Um, you know, I, I'm one of those guys, they say running joke in special forces. When you graduate, you get a beret, a Harley Davidson and a divorce. Um, I got two out of three of those things. I didn't get a Harley Davidson. Um, fortunately for me, um, that led to me meeting my uh, current wife. We've been together almost 10 years and um, she is the type of woman that stayed by my side through the whole thing. And really the only reason I'm probably even still here, um, biggest part of my success, but I got lucky, um, with that. Most guys don't. Um, so yeah, you, you have to become singularly obsessed and focused on one thing, um, during the qualification course. And that is achieving the green beret. There's, you have no mental, emotional, physical capacity for, anything else. Um, and it's honestly a very selfish thing to do. Uh, if you've got, you know, wife and kids and things like that, but if you can make it through the payoff is, um, there on the back end. Um, but you know, it's, it's a brutal, brutal thing to go through and it's really long. Um, it took me almost two years with a couple injuries. Um, some guys longer than that are 18 deltas. It takes up to three years for those guys. Um, so yeah, be prepared. Uh, to basically give up everything in life just to achieve that goal, whether it's a SEAL or a Green Beret or MARSOC or whatever you're doing, it's going to be the same across the board. Um, second one, <clears throat> the damage to your physical body. It's uh, in a full career, it's every guy I know is absolutely physically obliterated. So for me personally, I was run a quick gambit of injuries I sustained in my career. So broken left foot, uh, broken right leg, broke, uh, fractured my tibia in my right leg, right knee, torn meniscus, uh, osteoarthritis, degradation to where I basically have no cartilage left on the inside of my right knee, torn patella tendon on my left knee, obviously multiple operations on both of those. Um, back, I have degenerative disc disease with impacted nerves uh, in my L4 and L5, which I've had multiple operations on that. And then just had both shoulders reconstructed uh, about a year ago. Right shoulder, torn bicep, torn labrum, torn AC joint, torn rotator cuff. Uh, bicep had to be reattached to my pec and labrum tacked down with multiple metal anchors. Uh, left arm, torn bicep, labrum pretty much completely gone. Rotator cuff damaged, not all the way torn. Um, and as well, bicep had to be reattached to my pec and my labrum had to be completely rebuilt with um, rods and, and uh, anchors as well. So, um, and that's just the big ones, right? So, you know, you'd be hard pressed to find professional athlete that has gone through as, as much as I have, and I'm not rare. You know, most guys that have been around as long as me have gone through just as much um, medically. So that's another really ugly, nasty side of it you should be prepared for. You know, I have the knees of a 70 year old man um, the procedures I get done on my knees once a year are literally designed for elderly patients. So 
um, just just be be wary of that and be understanding that um, that is a reality. So, and the final one that we really don't talk about and it needs to be talked about more is damage to your mental health. Um, <clears throat> you know, I've I've had a lot of combat and a lot of issues like that, and I've also had um, you know I've gone through a lot of behavioral health um, and treatment and stuff like that to be able to address some of that, you know, uh, suicide is a, is a big, big problem in the soft community, um, active duty and veteran. Um, I think partly because we, we don't talk about it because, you know, everybody's a super tough guy, green beret or Navy SEAL. And, um, you know, most of us are struggling with things like that or have struggled in the past. So, um, if you do go down that road, uh, it took me a long time in my career to finally go, um, get help. Um, cause I thought I didn't need it for a long time and I really did. Um, but you know, if you are a, if you are an operator out there and you, you're watching my channel, um, make sure you get yourself some help too. Um, you know, and it's not just the combat, right? It's, you know, being away from your family for huge periods of time. You know, um, if you got young kids, you know, you go on these six to nine, six to nine month deployments and you come back, your kids don't even know who you are because um, they're too young, you know, and you're sort of trying to rebuild those connections with your family and it's it's super taxing emotionally and and mentally. So, um, yeah, just, just keep those things in mind, you know, like it, it's an amazing life, an amazing job. I've done things that people nowhere in the world um, can or will ever do, um, but uh, it's not for everybody. It's... Uh, it's a, it's a brutal job physically, mentally, emotionally. And if you are not prepared or equipped to deal with that and your families aren't, um, you're going to struggle and you, you're probably not going to make it. But, um, those are just some things, you know, that, uh, you guys don't hear about, you know, the soft, the soft world and what being a, a green beret or a Navy SEAL is, is actually like. So hope you guys enjoyed that and have a good day.